Okay, I am back. I took some time last night to actually try to plan what I'm going to do because doing a box is way different than doing a painting or a journal page. So I did some planning and I'm about 60% there, I think. The rest is going to just kind of be flying by the seat of my pants as usual. But what I did for the front, I think I want this on the front, is I had just all these cool pieces of ephemera. They're just like all labels from a Halloween printables and um, old apothecary labels and whatever. A couple years ago, someone gifted me a bunch of these and then I had a bunch so anyways I got these here I think I have another one these plastic they're like plastic postcards advertising cards from spectrum they came in the mail and they they've come twice now and I get like three at a time so they make really good um, substrates to put things on so anyways I glued all these labels in a grouping onto that card and then I just have some foam tape I might put another layer I'd like it to stand up from the box a little bit it does just a little bit but and I kind of thought <clears throat> that just gives the illusion and that really kind of pushes it down but that gives the illusion that the clip is holding all of those labels so I might do that and I might not maybe not I thought I kind of liked it but it is interfering with how that lays so maybe I won't do that but I want something more color on this background but I have that and then I have these little well, that's not what I wanted. These are brads. I thought they were the stick-on ones. I have some that are similar to this that just have adhesive on the back. Maybe I'm going to do that in the corners. I can't, I can't use the brads, though. But I did decide that I'm going to stand this box up so it will be up and open. So I took my witch ladies and I fussy cut them out and then just added a little bit of yarn kind of trim here down at the bottom and then I just have a block of wood in here so that they can sit up out of the box and I have an architectures clock from seven gypsies it's adhesive on the back and I just thought that looked kind of cool behind them I may add some words like they're talking to each other or whatever. A couple little skeleton faces that I printed out. Um, I filled these little bottles, you guys, with that black mica. I don't know if that's showing up or not. But I put that black mica in there and then just put some poison labels on those bottles. And then I just have some rusty cheesecloth and some black lace that I just kind of tore and ripped and tattered so there's that my black wood and then on this side you saw me put this paper in that was um, yesterday but I had this black glittery washi tape that I thought oh I'll never use that because you've heard me say a million times I'm not a glittery kind of girl but I think it looks kind of cool for this so that's kind of where I'm at. I did curl up some rusty wire just around a, if that's shown up, just around a handle of a paintbrush. I might put that on the top. I'll wait till the end and decide whether I want to do that or not. Oh, and speaking of the top, so the box is going to stand up like this, like this. But you can't really see that so pretend it's standing up I where is it here if 
found this cool printable witch outline. It says, to, this is the night of Halloween when all the witches might be seen. And I just put a craft stick on the back so that I can glue that onto the back of the box. And when it stands up, it will be standing up above the box. And then this vintage looking cat. I cut it out and attached the legs and the tail with some Tim Holtz little brads or brads. Is that what they are? Yeah, brads. And I didn't realize these had the long legs on the back of the brads. I had some with that were short, but I didn't realize it until I had this already put together. So it's staying that way, but it works. And then I have this little token that has a 13 on it. So like for Friday the 13th, I thought I might hang that around the cat's neck or I'll put it somewhere. So there's those. And then I just used my rust paste. I showed you this piece. It was just a piece of like, I think it was on jewelry or something. It was just a hand holding a broom. And then I have this had this little key. So I just used rust paste to grunge those up. I might dab some black ink or something on this tassel to make it a little more grungy as well. The tassel was connected to that key. I don't know what it went to, but. So that's the stuff that I have amassed that I kind of plan on using. Now, the other thing is I do have these stamps, I think I showed you, that I got at Tuesday morning. It's Halloween, it's time to use these stamps, but I don't know exactly if I want to put them on here, if there's even room, do I even want more words on here? I probably don't, because this takes up a lot of space. Unless I just use the skull, maybe, and the trick-or-treat, because I already have, like, bottle labels, and that's like a label. So maybe just those. I like this one, though, but... Oh, that would fit, I guess. I could do that. Maybe do the skull poking out over here. I want it this way. So I took the tape off the, or the paper backing off the adhesive tape. And I'm going to just leave just a tiny bit there at the bottom. And bring it off center just a tad. Well, now see that? I guess that's all right. All right. I have the little skeleton head and some black archival ink, and I am going to put him right here. Oh yeah, I like it. I'm going to put Beware, let's see, where do we want that? Maybe there, trick or treat over here. Unless I think of something else I want on the front, I'm calling this done. On the I keep saying the front, but it's actually the maybe the bottle. Let me see. Do I want that there? Wish you were here to tell me. No, I think 
I can always add it later if I decide. I'm undecided, so I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, onward. I'm inside the top, and let me lift this up. Can you see that? This um, paper that I used was a calendar page, and it was Christmas, like a quilt. And I just noticed that you can tell that that is holly. So that's no good. So I have this um, stencil by Studio Light. I'm going to just put that over. And I'm hoping that that will just kind of obliterate the fact that those are holly leaves. so much huh okay well then I'm gonna smear it a little yeah it didn't really do the trick all right, Plan all right B. we're gonna try this one this is scribbles stencil by stampers anonymous so, back to the old drawing board. Oh, that was a lot of paint. Okay. I didn't need that much, but I got that much. But these areas are bigger, so we'll cover more territory here. And I think it'll go well with the whole... Halloween thing, it kind of reminds me of a spider web a little bit. Good news, can't see the holly anymore. I'm just kind of smearing these edges a little bit where it's still wet. I can do it. Actually, I might even just go into the paint and go around the outside here a little bit. Just so I don't have a hard rectangular edge there. A little bit on this side. Okay. There it is. The light's not great here. When I do that it puts it in a shadow from this side but I think you can see it okay. All right. Okay here's what I did next. I took this little clip, painted it black, kind of just smushed some black on it because it's it was copper so that was okay and then just took this length of rusty wire that I twisted around the brush handle so that can get clipped on here and then are you seeing that probably not huh okay that's clipped on there and then I put a grommet where am I at I put a grommet on the cat So he can go on the end of the wire. Where'd all that black paint come from on my finger? <laughs> and then it hangs, but you'll have to wait, I guess, to see him hanging at the end because I can't make him hang when he's laying down. It, the box won't close with that on, but I'm not going to glue the clip on so the clip can just be taken off. The only thing I don't like about it 
is the cat kind of blends into the background. So I need to figure out something to alleviate that. But I got to move on because I have a lot of stuff to do. It's going to be my last nice day outside for a long time. Maybe till spring. Who knows? So I need to get out and get some stuff done in my yard. So since I know what I'm doing over here, I'm just going to kind of fly through this with you guys. I'll probably speed it up. But it's good to know what I'm doing for a change. So first layer is going to be this cheesecloth. And I'm just going to tuck it up in there, here and there. Maybe bring it up to the side. Actually, I want it down this way a little bit more and up on this side a little more. Then I'm going to use my ultimate glue because I know it'll stick fast and help me get done quick. I'm just going to put some glue on the bottom of this. Could have used wood glue, I suppose. That's all right. See, you guys, I told you. This glue sticks, like, right now. All right, where's my witches? I'm just going to sit them here for now so I can decide where I want to put this clock. I don't want it to look like an alarm clock, so I'm going to trim this alarm clock stand off of here. And that will be behind them anyways. Maybe this little button on the top too. Once this is down, it's down, so I kind of want the time showing between these two where I have the biggest gap, so I'm going to put it right there. It's crooked. Ah. There. Okay. It's got really heavy duty adhesive on the back so should be fine and then these girls we're gonna go there so I might as well put them down Okay, the girls are in. Now, we have the skellies. And I had both of them in here like that. Hmm. Now I'm thinking maybe I want the 13 to be dangling here. Okay, inside completed. So you saw me glue everything down. And then I took a button. I don't know if you can see the button. There's a black button right there. I looped a piece of 
hemp cord through it and looped it through that 13 so now that will hang there and then I took my label maker and made a label that I attached to this orange ribbon you can see what it says right drink up girls it's almost Halloween and they're all drinking out of a cup so we'll use our imagination if I was one of them it would probably be beer in my cup <laughs> so I think this side is pretty much done so now for this side I found this happy Halloween paper and I put a grommet in the cat so I can suspend him right there and I'm hoping this the fact that he'll be away from the box and then this underneath with the lighter background maybe will help show him off a little bit just not happy with this over here maybe this is where we need one of the bottles All right. huh? I'm gonna get that stuff glued down and I'll be back and show you okay I'm back here's what I did um, put the Halloween sign in here I had burned the edges and then I went around the edges with vintage photo distress ink I lined the inside around the edges with some more of that rusty cheesecloth added the cat I scrunched his spring up a little bit so he wasn't directly in front of the sign I'm going to put this bottle here and that bottle there I think you can see them both maybe one here and then one up here because I'm going to put the witch on the top there and I put some of that black mica on the spots where there weren't any where there wasn't any writing and then on the back I don't know if you can catch oh yeah it's catching the light see pretty cool so I just need to glue the bottles and the witch on and then I'm debating whether I want this on here or not I think I'm going to ditch the tassel altogether. I think I like it better without and then I'll put that on there and be done for now I'm not sure if I want to do anything on the sides or not so I'm just going to wait on that so I'm going to get these glued in and that's not even open okay and That's going to need a decent amount of glue. I may have to clamp that for a bit. Although it does grab quickly. I'm just going to get a clamp anyways. Is this going to work or not? Oh no, that doesn't open far enough. Or maybe it does. Hear me talking to myself. gonna clamp that just come on okay and then I'm gonna get this one on I'm probably gonna have to turn this so I can see here where do we want her kind of there so I'm going to put this here. I'm going to have to hold this one. Okay. Everything is done and on. I got my little rusty pieces on over here. The witch is up at the top. I have one bottle on top and one bottle down here in this corner. But the bot I had to put a lot of glue on the bottle, so I have them clamped on and it's not dry I will try and turn this so you can see the top and the cat and the bottle at the bottom um, but as usual once that's dry I will take some still pictures I'll stand this up 
and take some pictures of it up on a shelf so that everything can be seen really well. And then I'll take some pictures of it close too. And I hope you enjoyed watching the process of transforming this old wooden cigar box into a little Halloween curio cabinet. If you did, give this video a big old thumbs up. Share it out to Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. I'd appreciate that a lot if you did that. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that. I try to give you good content a couple times a week, fun things that you can try. And every Friday I have Fast Fun Friday, which is a new technique or a tip or something that's just kind of quick. This is going to be a long one, I think. It may even end up in two parts. We'll see when it gets to the editing stage. So, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a good week so far. Hope you're getting ready for Halloween. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye!